All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how to change your Liberty safe combination. Now, I know Liberty's been in the news lately for, for you know, giving out the combination. I'm sure a lot of people know about that situation, which is kind of why we're making this video, but there's also some other added information here. Um, so how to change your Liberty safe combination? Well, it depends on what keypad or dial you have on your safe as to how to change that. But if you are looking at this video because of the whole thing that went on the news about Liberty giving the FBI their code uh, without basically going around the owner and doing that, um, if you're trying to fix that problem, it's usually an easy fix. We usually can have a locksmith come out. We can wipe, uh, change the master code in it and fix it. Sometimes you can't, it just depends on the model and, and what the, the manufacturers do. Uh, but the other way, to, one way to fix it for sure is just replace the whole keypad and body. So whenever you buy an electronic lock, we just, you call a locksmith and say, hey man, I want to get rid of this lock, electronic lock I have on here and I want to get another one because I don't want Liberty to, to be able to go behind my back and give my code or any other safe manufacturer to be able to go behind your back and give out code. Uh, then you just replace the whole keypad and you can have a locksmith come out, put you on a new electronic keypad the new lock body that goes with it on the inside of the safe and then reprogram your codes and then boom now you don't have to worry about that because none of those codes exist and it's a completely different piece of hardware with a different serial number problem solved if you're not looking if you're not looking into this video for that reason and you legitimately want to know how to change your liberty safe combination well let's go into that right now so most liberty safes from what we can tell on their website so we don't sell liberty safes um is that they use securam now, Securam, in my opinion, and in a lot of locksmith opinions, is, is a cheaper option, more affordable option than what, like, for instance, Holland, we sell Holland safes. Holland puts on S&G, Sergeant and Greenleaf keypads on all their safes, which is kind of the, the standard, the really good standard, S&G. Securam is kind of a little cheaper, less expensive option underneath uh, Sergeant Greenleaf. So Liberty safes use Securam. Holland, ha Holland has used Securam before when there were stock issues, hard, just hard to keep S&G keypads in stock. They went with Securam. So it doesn't matter what safe you have necessarily. If there's a Securam safe, they're all going to program, I mean, a lock body, they're all going to program the same pretty much. And if they're a Sergeant Greenleaf, you know, electronic keypad, those are all going to program pretty much the same. So let's just talk about <clears throat> Securam. This is the uh, Safe Logic Basic Series. So just the basic series for your Securam locks that are usually the Securam electronic keypad locks that are on the Liberty safes. Now this is a Securam <clears throat> electronic keypad right here, but this is the, this is the only one we had in stock because we don't, like I said, we don't sell a lot of Securam. This is the ProLogic 2. This one has like time delay, uh, you know, extra codes, extra user codes, and all kinds of little bells and whistles. These are much more expensive, but it is a Securam just so you can see. Uh, <clears throat> so real quick, uh, this is for the instructions that I told you for the basic Securam. If you have a basic Securam, electronic keypad on your Liberty uh, safe. More than likely, these are gonna be in the instructions. If you wanna find these online, just line, look up Safe Logic Basic Series, Securam, you know, those kind of keywords, or Securam um, uh, electronic keypad programming instructions. Search it like that and you can find them. But I have some right here in my hand. <clears throat> and generally it works just like all the other keypads. It comes with the default master code, uh, six ones, uh, and then it comes with the default user code 123456. So if you want to change, so anytime you want to add, uh, delete the user code and re replace the user code in this, you have to type in the manager code and then put in the new code that you want to do it. So you have to keep that manager code. So what I suggest you do is you go in immediately, change the master code from six ones to a number that you like, save that somewhere, don't put it in your safe, save it somewhere, file it separately, and then that way you have that programming code in case you need it, and then program the user code in that you want. <clears throat> so for instance, on here, we've got, uh, you can change the master code, you can uh, delete a user code, and then you could add a user code. So first thing that I would do is I would go in and change the master code. And it's just really briefly, I'm gonna go over this. This isn't so that you can follow step by step by step. You can find these instructions online, but in general, this is how it goes. Enter a zero six times, it'll beep twice. Um, now, and then you enter your existing six digit code, the master code, and you're gonna hear two beeps, um, indicating it's a valid entry. And then you're gonna enter in your new six digit code, you'll hear one beep. Um, and then you're gonna, uh, what do you call it? 
and re-enter your six digit code and you'll hear one beep. Uh, if you hear three beeps, then something didn't go through, it's not successful, and you repeat the steps over again. But it's basically some easy things like that. Hit zero a couple of times, put in your programming code, put in the new code, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> and then you can go in here, you can delete a user code. So once you change the master code to something you want and file that away, then you can go in there and say, I'm gonna delete that user code, that one, two, three, four, five, six, and replace it with the user code I want. And then you can just go in there basically and enter the manager code that you just created, hold down the last digit of the code, you hear two beeps, continue to hold down the, that last digit until you hear two more additional beeps. And then uh, you're now in programming mode. And then you can uh, press the three button, you hear two beeps, and uh, indicating that the system has deleted the existing user code. But then once you delete the existing user code, you go to add the existing. Now you're adding in a user code, the one that you want. And then you, to enter in the user code that you want, you enter the master code, hold down the last digit of that code, you hear two beeps, you continue to hold down that last digit until you hear an additional two beeps. Then you'll press the one button, you'll hear two beeps again, it says that now you're ready to receive the new user code. Entering the six digit user code, you'll hear one beep. Repeat the six digit code, you'll hear one beep again. And uh, then the six digit codes entered were the same and they'll make sure that, that'll indicate that the two six digit codes were the same. And then your user code was programmed successfully. So like I said, you can find these online and just kind of sped through that. <clears throat> They're all kind of, they all kind of work like that. So I would say, so general summary, go in, change your master code or programming code, depending on the manufacturer. Once you change that, change your user code, document the master code somewhere, not in your safe where you can get to it in case something happens. And then you can, then you're good. And all those codes are out of your, your system. Um, if you have a manual safe uh, dial, this is a little training tool we use here in the shop. This is a big red manual safe dial. See, and it has a cutaway where you can see what's going on in the wheels. Really, you need to get a locksmith. If you have a manual dial like this on your safe, you should have a locksmith come out and do it, even if you have the tool necessary to do it, which this is the tool. So the reason why I say that is if you mess up, then you're going to have to call a locksmith anyways, and you could damage something if you don't do it correctly. Um, it's just, and then you're not gonna have the tool in the first place unless you know what you're doing and somehow I've ended up with one. But it generally works something like this. You, you have these two indicators on top of your manual dial. You have a 12 o'clock dash right there and you have the 11 o'clock dash right there. So when you traditionally uh, dial your code, you dial into the 12 o'clock position in the pattern, the four, three, two, one pattern, which is four turns, three turns, two turns, one turn, left, right, left, right, that goes in conjunction with it. So left four, right three, left two, right one. Um, so that was, that's the pattern that you usually use when you're dialing. But if you're changing a code, you dial everything into the 11, 11 o'clock, then you take your tool, we put it in the back of the lock body and the little keyhole right here. And then once that goes in, you turn it, turns 90 degrees, you clear the wheels out and you dial your new code in also to the 11 o'clock position and you stop on the last number, turn the, the little tool back and then boom, you're, you're done. Now we do have a video on our YouTube channel. Maybe we could put a link up here for how to change these combinations because we do have a very old video, but it's still very useful on how to change the codes on these manual dials. Uh, so hopefully that kind of gives you a, a general overview of how to do all that. Um, so we appreciate you tuning in as always. Uh, don't forget we're on all the social media platforms, Twitter or X, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, we appreciate the subscription. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to our YouTube channel, as well as uh, hitting the like buttons, depending on what platform you're on. Uh, we appreciate the support as always, and thanks for tuning in.